Yeah, guest relations right here at the front. You get to see tons. And get the main entry gates. Got restrooms off to the side in the front. There we go. I'm here a little early. Park doesn't open for almost another hour. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am up in Agawam, Massachusetts and today I'm visiting Six Flags New England. I believe this is my uh, seventh Six Flags Parks that I visited around the United States. Uh, this is uh, my first time here. I'm excited to be here. As soon as the park opens, I will find a map and then I'm gonna go on all of the roller coasters. That's typically the first thing I do when I get to a major amusement park is I hit the roller coasters first. And then I will give you guys a complete tour of the property. They also have a water park that's also right here included with park admission so most likely i'll be enjoying that a little bit later because uh it'll be hot by that time so as soon as the park opens find you a map and we'll get started just to get the vip entrance i get to go in all right so my little mini tripod got flagged they do not allow these in the park so i gotta go put this in my car so keep in mind you do come here Things like this are not allowed inside the park. So evidently each Six Flags park is different. I've only had problems with uh, bringing in my camera with the little mini tripod on it at Six Flags over Georgia one time. So like I said, just keep that in mind. You do come here. They do not allow selfie sticks. No filming on any ride. That will get you ejected from the park immediately. So just keep in mind some of the rules they have here. It's for safety. All right, so right past the entry gates, you do have locker locations. If you do have big bags, you don't want to carry it around with you. Getting yourself a locker is best bet. So it's pre-opening right now. They let you in to a certain point. All right, here is the map. Now, water park is not open yet. That doesn't open up until uh, mid-June. I think they said June 17th. As I said, I'm gonna make my way around doing all the different roller coasters. That is my first objective. I'm gonna come back up to the front for a full tour. So there we go, Thunderbolt. Next train, we get in front row. Good old classic wooden coaster here. All right, that was a very rough ride, very rickety. I even felt the actual car flexing. I've never felt that sensation before. Still a fun ride, classic wooden coaster. So not bad for my first ride. I mean, it wasn't the most comfortable ride, but you know, expect to feel a little, a little give way on a wooden coaster like this. All right, second coaster today, Pandemonium. The Pandemonium is this orange and green track right here. This coaster rotates around. I don't know the English there, so I know it's four riders per car. Alright, so I'm back at the entrance. I went on all the, of the roller coasters and a couple other rides. So now I'm going to give you guys a complete tour of this property. Uh, it's not one of the larger Six Flags parks, but they do have a lot put in their footprint. So I'm going to show you the map again, and then we'll get started on the tour. So starting from the main entrance, we're going to head to the left first, essentially follow the track that I took this morning, work my way around, 
to the different areas. Eventually show you everything this park has to offer. All right, so from the main entrance, the first thing we come to is a carousel called the Grand Carousel from 1909, according to the sign. So this good old classic carousel with the horses. You got some other animals, stationary benches. So I was moving down the pathway, Main Street Rental Center. This is where you would rent your wheelchairs, your strollers. Just go inside. Just got Ride Information Center. Right next to that, you got the Flash Pass headquarters. With my Diamond membership, I get two Skip the Line passes. Directly across from that, you got Lost Parents. And my Six Flags photos, which does not open today because none of the rides are doing photos right now. All right, so you do have the Flash Pass. You got three different versions. Platinum is 90% faster. Regular is it's basically a virtual queue. And each tier adds more rides. So just to the right of the Flash Pass, you got six below. And this is an ice cream. There are many boards. So anytime you see an S next to an item, that means snack. If you have a food plan, got Sunday toppings, and shakes and floats. Directly across from that, you got Studio 6F. This is one of the many gift shops they have at the front of the park. All right, so right next to Six Below, you got Captain uh, Ribby's Riverboat Cafe. All right, that's what they've got. And anytime you see an M next to an item, that's for a meal. Snacks and sides. You got beverages. Straight ahead, you got Looney Tunes Emporium. This is their larger gift shop. All sorts of stuff here. Where y'all going? You keep moving. Got Looney Tunes themed, Six Flags themed, got DC, all sorts of stuff. So all around the park, they got these arrows pointing to the different attractions. Right behind that. First roller coaster I did for today is Thunderbolt. Right out front, you got Coaster Candy, just directly in front of Thunderbolt. This is another good sized gift shop. It's gonna have all sorts of candy in here, boxed candies. A lot of candies you would get pretty much anywhere. You're just going to be uh, paying a little bit higher price. Is there any way you want to take care of your, your sweet tooth? I also have a menu board here. You got drinks. And sort of treats. So all the yummy looking snacks. And all different types of fudge. And you got prepackaged candy apples and caramel apples. Alright, so I showed you this. <laughs> Gonna go down this direction. You have restroom locations. See some of the old style buildings. Got vintage photography. Go get some funny pictures. Look at that. Look at a big shark. So this whole area is themed after a wharf. Kind of like you would see in the movie Jaws. You know, Nant Nantucket. Got the Steam and Dragon. Another smaller gift shop. Lots of shirts.
All right, so showing the map again. I'm going to be right here on the map. Be heading to the left. In our circle around. So I'm going to try and go the route that I went this morning. This area has various games of chance. Wear yourself a big jumbo prize. Just keep in mind, you win something like big, you're gonna be carrying it around. I see plenty of of the school groups with kids carrying you know giant stuffed animals. You see more of the roller coaster. Right, we got Looney Tunes Movie Town. This is one of two kid-themed areas. They got the brown derby. What they've got. Got soft serve. And fried dough. And at the end is beverages. Got Tweety's Clubhouse. See this is a mini bouncer. See Sylvester there. The Tweety Bird's up in his clubhouse with a mallet. Gonna bang that bad old putty tat in the head. Our right, next day you got animation department. Perfect ride for the little ones, not too high. Got Daffy Dog Hollywood Tours. There we go. And I've seen this type of ride at many, many, many different parks. Usually the ride vehicle itself is a little bit different. I see them as school buses, submarines, regular buses. All do the same thing. Or just behind that, you got the Great Chase. So this is a kiddie coaster. You got Yosemite Sam there, Bugs Bunny. It's a great starter coaster for the little ones. Also from this area, you come to River's Edge Picnic Grove. They have private events back here. Got a relaxation station. Place to sit down in the shade or on a bench. You also have a Take Six VIP lounge. A Coke Freestyle machine inside. This is for members. Like I have the Diamond membership. Directly across now, you got Taz's Prop Delivery Company. Those big monster trucks. Ride slowly along a track. It's all automated, so you do not get to control the speed or anything. Welcome to Tazzy's Pop Delivery Company. Just to the left of that, you do have restroom locations. All right, to the left of the restrooms. Got this cool fountain. Great place for the kids to cool off. Got several of the Looney Tunes characters. Got Tweety Bird, Sylvester trying to chase them. Got Taz, the Tasmanian Devil, and Bugs Bunny. The so last ride in the Looney Tunes area is called Speed Trap. Got the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote. Now as these things rotate around, they whip around the edges or the ends. All right, that's all folks. All right, so I'm back on the pathway. Can I continue on? Got a great photo op right here. All right, we got balloon race. Go. Your own hot air balloon. Directly across from that, you get Bay State Fisheries Fish and Chips. Sides. Beverages. They also have the refillable drink bottles. Directly to the left of that, you got soft serve ice cream, sweet confections. And directly to the left of that, you got Southern State Brew House Steak and Cheese. Draft beer. Yeah, majority of the eateries do have so 
sodas that you can get refills for or buy your bottle. And directly off to that, you got Bay State fries, all their meals, and their sides. And right across all that, you got Flashback. This is a boomerang roller coaster. Basically, cookie cutter design. All these rides are all alike. Of course, some of them are a little more uh, rickety than others, depending on how well they're taken care of. There's flashback. doing it backwards is you don't know when it's coming. Directly to the right of Flashback, got Chopsticks Fresh Asian Cuisine. That's what they've got available. Alright, so you see a lot more of the track for Pandemonium. Like I said, this was my second roller coaster that I rode. Very, very fun. Now, there is inclement weather in the area, so majority of the rides are down temporarily. Chopsticks, you got a classic scrambler ride. I used to love going on these when I was a kid. Sometimes these are differently themed. There's a good old classic version right here. All right, so from the Pandemonium entrance, just right next door, you got Whitewater Rafting a Blizzard River. So a good old river rafting ride. Chances of getting wet are pretty good on this type of ride. Of course, this is also down. Like I said, all the rides are temporarily down. All right, from Blizzard River, you got Wicked Cyclone and New England Skyscreamer. This was my fourth coaster that I rode today. This was a very, very fun ride. This used to be a regular wood coaster called a Cyclone. However, it was retracked with steel. Makes it a lot more extreme. All right, so after I got off Wicked Cyclone, I got in line for New England Skyscreamer. This is a swing. It goes all the way up. Got a fantastic view of the park and the surrounding area. Plus, it was nice and cool. Always enjoy a good waterfall. Here we go, so Wicked Cyclone, fantastic ride. You really feel the G-forces. Now this is one of the locker rental stations that I mentioned. You can get a ride locker for $2 or for $5 you can move your locker. A fantastic ride. Right next door you got Skyscreamer, world's tallest swing ride. But yeah, like I said, fantastic views you get from up here. Used to be terrified of stuff like this when I was really young. But I have overcome my fear. And now it's enjoyable. So showing you more of the pathway for the River Rapids ride. Got all the snow. Got some penguins down there. So I cannot tell from this vantage point, but someone told me there's like a kind of a, a cascading waterfall in there. Sure to get everybody wet. All right, so to get to the next area, 
I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. See this green tower straight ahead. That's one of the last remnants of the former sky ride they had here. All right, so I backtracked a ways by Lynchings Movie Town. You'd be heading this way. All right, so the next area you got Crackle Canyon. This area has an old West style theme to it. Get airbrush customized apparel. And continue going up. Also, oh, Six Flags. New England also used to have a train. That is no longer here. Train was taken out to make room for new stuff. Got a kettle corn. Some of the stuff in this area is not open. I'm gonna show you the menu board. So if you come here when all the stuff is open, you can know what they've got. Got a coaster creamery. This is not open. So it's gonna have uh, basically ice cream and a lot of the same stuff that I've showed you in other areas. So showing you the map again. I am down here in this area right around here. Got JB Smokehouse Barbecue. This is where I had my lunch. Got gourmet burgers. Got barbecue. Got boneless strips. This is what I had, barbecue boneless strips. Signature salads. Got fries and more. So all the beverages that we've got. So all the rides are down. You get all these school groups that are here. He has to be in it. <laughs> I was told earlier that this section up here was gonna be opening until a little bit later. Because most of the workers that staff this particular area are high schoolers. So they don't usually get here till like four o'clock. But that I show you guys anyway. So do you have restroom locations? Got an old Wild West cemetery right here. Got Rock and Rodeo. You can see this is rotates around and the whole thing spins. Welcome back. We hope you enjoy your ride. Next up we got Tomahawk. Tomahawk is a miniature pendulum ride. Not sure because it's not running if it goes all the way around or not. But it rotates around, spins, and it goes back and forth till it gets to its highest point. So this next area here has a bunch of faux fronts. And that guy is up. However, the actual attraction here is Houdini's. The Houdini's Great Escape. This is essentially a giant illusion. You got a small show at the entrance portion of the ride. Then you enter this big chamber with bench seating on both sides. You're in a, in a tubular type of ride structure. And the whole thing about the ride is it makes it look like the whole room is rotating. I've seen this ride at Six Flags. Great Adventure in New Jersey. This is the second location that has this and it's the only two that still has it. All right, so to continue, I'm going to backtrack yet again. All right, so I'm going to backtrack yet again towards the main entry area. Back here towards the main entrance is this way. There's Looney Tunes Emporium. There's Thunderbolt Roller Coaster. Somebody heading down this way. You got Six Flags Emporium. Right across from Looney Tunes Emporium. It's gonna have additional Six Flags type products. You know, your shirts, your hats, your, your plush. There's all sorts of good stuff. Subscribe to Zach the Ripper 47 on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next area is called Rockville. So lots of games of chance along this route. 
All sorts of stuff. Seen quite a few people walking around with giant plush animals. Hey, can I be in the vlog? <laughs> Got totally kicking chicken, boneless wings. This is what they've got. Chicken strips. Choose your sauce depending on your heat tolerance. You got sides and snacks. Got this nice 57 Chevrolet. Good old classic car right here. Got hothead burritos. You build your own burrito. All right, then you got more games of chance right here. Got Fast Eddie's Diner. Got gourmet burgers. Boneless strips. Got shakes and fries. And of course, beverages. Right behind that, you got Contiki. <laughs> It's like a tiki themed. It's basically a carnival style ride. It rotates around. The cars swing out. All right, next day you got restroom locations. It's one of the few rides that's actually still operating. So you can get some good speed to it. Yeah, buddy. A diner over here. It's the entrance to Hurricane Harbor. Like I said, this is not open until the 17th. I will not be here for this. So we're going to continue on. Get Yama's Greek cuisine. We've got a basketball game here. You can win some Mario plush called Hot Shot. Right across that, you got teacups. Yeah, teacups is covered, so that it's open. So traditional teacups. You spin your teacup and it rotates around. Just to the left of teacups, you got restroom locations. You got another candy cabin. You can have a lot of similar stuff that I showed you in the other location. Directly to the left of candy cabin, you got Gotham City. You got Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. This is the large pendulum ride. So yeah, ride vehicle spins and it rotates back and forth till it gets a good momentum. This does not rotate all the way around, but you do get some really good height on it. Harley Quinn the beginning. Her abilities. It's crazy. Currently. Villains of Snacks. Uh, next roller coaster I rode today was the Riddler's Revenge. It's this yellow and green coaster. This is a suspension coaster. And I gotta say, this was an extremely rough ride. Did not enjoy my experience very much. Right towards the end, the lap bar squished my lap. This is up there with uh, my second worst coaster I've ever been on. First being K2 at Kentucky Kingdom. This gave me the same lap squish that I received on that. And this was just as rough. It's got a cool paint scheme, man, but good God, this is a rough ride. See several people walking around with uh, with silvery bananas. I guess this is where they got them from. So anyway, going to continue on. Passive Riddler's Revenge. Got Wheeler's Wild Hot Dogs. Nice snacks. Gotham City Water and Power are the men's and women's restrooms. We've got Carolina's Pizzeria. Get yourself a slice of pizza or a meatball sub. We got sides. We got a basketball game here, three point challenge. All right, Gotham City Crime Wave. This is a swing ride. 
This thing raises up and swings you around. Directly to the left of that, you got the Joker roller coaster. This was the next roller coaster that I rode today. Your chance of rotation is going to vary depending on your weight distribution. I was by myself on the one side and two smaller people on the other side of me, so we only got two rotations during the whole ride. Trying to get a little better view of the Joker roller coaster. Like I said, I've been on this type of ride at multiple different Six Flags Park. See, a lot of them are just like this, a Joker. One of them was themed a Batman. And directly across from that, you got Batman the Ride. Yeah, so it's Batman the Dark Knight. A lot of the Batman rides that I've seen at other Six Flags parks are painted yellow and black. This has a purple and blue paint scheme. So there's a floorless roller coaster. It's actually pretty fun. I rode this right after the Joker. I'm sorry none of these rides are riding right now or running. Cool thing is in the queue line you can learn about all the different villains and the heroes. You see they got the giant bat symbol here. This Six Flags Park does not have a Batmobile. Got Funhouse Gifts. So it's a small open air gift shop. So right below the Batman roller coaster is the passage to Hurricane Harbor. Like I said, that is not open yet. See more of the track for Batman the Dark Knight. Now I just asked one of the workers what exactly is the hold up with the rides. And they are on a, a number or a letter system rather. A, B, C, and D. D being the worst. A being everything's open. So they're currently at a B. That's why some of the rides are open, all the food eateries are open. However, all the larger rides like the roller coasters are not open at the moment. They are monitoring the weather. Depends on which way the weather comes or if the storm heads this way. They will up the, uh, the number or the letter rather. And if it gets to a D, that's when they end up closing the whole park. So hopefully we'll get to that. So right behind the Riddler's Revenge, you can see the blue with red track. That is Superman the Ride. And portion of the ride comes back in this area. When we come up to Kidsopolis, this is the second kitty area in the park. It's a kitty sized version of the teacups. And we got wacky wagons. There's a cool kid sized Ferris wheel. What wagons are the cars? Next up, we got Whirly Birds. This is a helicopter ride. Raises up and spins. There we go, there's Whirly Birds. It's definitely geared towards the little ones. Right across from Whirly Birds, you got Dino Off Road Adventure. It's cool right here. Right on a track. You see all the different dinosaurs. So that's pretty neat if a kid likes dinosaurs. This would be a fun ride for them. So a lot of the parks have antique cars. This is kind of like a go-kart where you control the, the speed. But instead of antique cars, you got these cool Jeeps. All right, next day you got a Primo's Pizzeria. And we got a Dippin' Dots here also. Got crazy cars. So the crazy cars ride along a single rail. 
This type of ride is, I don't believe you get to control the speed. Next up, you got Zoom Jets. All right, see the Zoom Jets. You can then control your height with the, uh, either a joystick or you pull back on the handle. Got another Primo's Pizzeria location. The same exact type of food as the other Primo's locations. You also get whole pizzas here. This location has inside seating. All right, right outside is Primo's. You got center stage. This right here. Sure, they got different shows throughout the summer or different holidays. All right, so from center stage, got restroom locations. This is the main street right here towards the front. Got Looney Tunes Imperium. You got Thunderbolt. Next up, you got Scream. This will be this big giant drop tower. Oh yeah, we got Scream. So yeah. Get this triple drop tower. Goes all the way up. All right, so show you the map again. So you can see all the stuff that I've done. Done a lot of stuff. Showed you everything over here. You can see Hurricane Harbor on the lower portion. So I am right here. I'm gonna show you the last section of the park now. All right, last section of the park to show you is the DC Universe. All right, see so our testing vehicles. Actually, there's people on it. Yes, there's people on it again. So they got the coasters open again. Just a fantastic track here for Superman the Ride. Literally the coolest part of the ride you go through this tunnel and you got this really cool mist going. It's the tallest roller coaster in the park. You can see the giant lift hill. Lots of track on this coaster. And this thing is fast. Gotta be, be called Superman. You can see all this mist coming from in here. Get the old mobile unit six, Daily Planet. There we go, you see Superman. You got snacks with fried dough. So yeah, a lot of these places have the exact same type of stuff. Got Supergirl Skyflyer. More information about Supergirl. And her powers and abilities. But yeah. It's a fun ride. go. And the whole thing goes up. There we go. It goes full vertical. So then you are upside down portion of the ride. But the, with the momentum, you hardly even feel that you're upside down. It just goes so fast. 
All right, Cyborg Hyperdrive is a virtual reality ride. It's indoor, kind of a uh, motion simulator. We got the DC Superhero Store. There we go, we got all the DC superheroes and even a couple of the villains are in here. Look at that. Justice League. We got all the characters up there. We got some of the plush. Got hats. Oh, they even have some of the figures you can get. All right, you got Gotham City Gauntlet, Escape from Arkham Asylum. This was the ride that I actually rode before Superman. And this is a traditional wild mouse roller coaster. Track layout, basically cookie cutter, and a wild mouse roller coaster, multiple different parts. The difference being where it starts to spin. So that's the only difference between wild mouse roller coasters and different parts. So Catwoman Whip was my actual last roller coaster that I rode today. There's Catwoman with her whip. So Catwoman Whip is this yellow and purple roller coaster. Now don't let the look of the track make you think this is a kiddie coaster. It's actually pretty fast. And by total chance, I actually got the front row on this. The lady took the space that I was going to have further back. coaster but it actually has a pretty good speed so I wouldn't really call this a kitty coaster you got Batman it's kind of weird that everything's open up again because the sky looks even darker than it did earlier. However, they are checking the, the radar, you know, because the safety of guests is, is the most important thing. So this stuff wouldn't have opened up if it wasn't safe. See, crime wave. This type of swing used to scare the bejeebers out of me when I was a kid. I was just ter terrified that the chain would get snap and I was gonna go flying. But the Dark Knight roller coaster. This was a fun ride. fun ride. Super smooth. Yeah, you see this ride in action. Riddler's Revenge. Like I said, extremely rough ride. Of course, that is just my opinion. Yeah, 
Essa Pandemonium is a fun roller coaster. When I went on it, we got some really, really good rotations. It's a nice, smooth ride. Right here. Yeah, just go around that way. Or this way. So yeah, man, Wicked Cyclone. This is a fantastic ride here. It's be a storm chaser vehicle. Just trying to get you as much view of the track as I can. where you feel like you get a whiplash. There's quite a view of the track and it's out of view. Alright, can I give you a brief overview of Looney Tunes Emporium? This is just as you would expect. All the stuff in here is themed to the Looney Tunes characters. Oh, here we go. We got the Roadrunner. So we got Porky Pig. Lots of shirts. Yeah, Porky Pig. And you have Pepe Le Pew. You have basketballs. Oh yeah, man. This is the dog from the Marvin Martian cartoons. The Foghorn Leghorn. Got Taz and Mrs. Taz. So yeah, lots and lots of clothing in here. Not just all you know, Looney Tunes and they got all the DC stuff on one side. If you miss it on the gift shops in that perspective area or if we do that part. You also have all the DC stuff over here if you missed it over in the DC area. Right across, you got the Six Flags Emporium. So this is actually the largest gift shop they have. A lot of Six Flags, New England themed stuff. I am not purchasing anything. As I already have a Six Flags hat. I just forgot to bring it. Well, just all sorts of shirts. It's like the majority of the stuff in here is clothing. We got some sandals. There's a few plush in here. So we've been talking about rain possibilities for a good portion of the day. It's now starting to rain. But luckily for me, I'm inside, right at the front. I'm in the Six Flags Emporium. Directly next to the Emporium, you got Enjoy a Sweet Ride. All right, everybody, that is gonna wrap up my visit to Six Flags New England. I had a fantastic time. This is just over the border 
in Massachusetts from Connecticut. And literally right over the border, it's right down the street. So uh, even though we got a little bit of rain at the end, I already had all my rides in. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tour for you guys. Leave some comments down below where your favorite ride was. Something that you absolutely would love to go on or maybe even something that there's no way, no how you would ever go on something like that. I always try to try something new, something I've never rode before. It's coming less and likely at the Six Flags Parks. As I said, this is my seventh Six Flags Parks I've been to. Check all the other ones out under my theme parks, amusement parks tab. You see all the rest. So if you like stuff like this, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I go to amusement parks, theme parks, zoos, aquariums, roadside attractions, even some state parks and national parks. So if you're interested in that, check out my channel. I have hundreds of videos for you to choose from. Everybody else that's already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.